In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a zoom in and out effect in Premiere Pro. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and freelancing tips. So please do consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can make a zoom in effect in Premiere. So I have my stock footage of my dog getting wind blown in its face and it's a static shot, meaning that the camera isn't moving. So to make this more dynamic, I wanna add a slow zoom in effect. I'm going to go up to effect controls and go up to scale. From there, you'll see that there's a timeline next to the effect controls panel on its right. This illustrates the beginning and end of our clip. So I want my zoom to start at the beginning of the clip. I'll go ahead and move the playhead to the start and now we can add in our keyframe. Let's go over to scale. You can see the size of our video is at 100%. Let's click on the stopwatch icon next to the scale to add our first keyframe. What this does is the keyframe locks in the size of our video at 100% at this point in the video. Now let's go over to the end of our keyframe timeline and add in our second keyframe. Look for the keyframe icon to the right of the scale size to add in a new keyframe. We want our effect to slowly zoom in, so I'm going to go back over to scale and type in 150%. This will slowly increase the size of our video from the beginning of a clip to the end of the clip. Now when we play back, there's a nice slow zoom in effect. You can do the exact opposite if you want the clip to slowly zoom out instead. I would just need to start at 150% at the beginning and then change the end to 100%. And if you want this to be a super fast zoom in, you can move the last keyframe closer to the first keyframe to increase the zoom speed. From there, you can play around with the scale size and how far apart the keyframes are to get the perfect zoom in effect. So that's how you can create a zoom in effect in Premiere Pro. What kind of projects are you guys going to use this effect for? Let me know in the comments below. For more information on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com. Also, check out my other tutorial videos that I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys, see you in the next video.